What is up everybody? Welcome to this week's lesson review. Today we're gonna learn about friendship. Let's think about our best friend. What makes them your best friend? Hmm. So in this week's lesson, teacher Joan taught us about friendship, particularly between two people. Do you remember what their names were? With David and Jonathan. So let's think about why Jonathan was a good friend. He was selfless. He let David be king instead of him, which was crazy, right? He also was kind by being brave and risking his life for David. These are all just amazing qualities a friend has. And I'm sure you guys have friends that are kind and selfless and caring and loving. But do you know the most important thing that both Jonathan and David shared? They loved God. Yes, they loved God. So I have a question for you. What kind of friend do you want to be? What kind of characteristics do you want to have? Do you want to be kind? Do you want to be selfless? Do you want to be loving? When you think about it, every good quality that we have, whether it's loving, kind, selfless, those are all things that God is to us. God shows his love to us by being so gracious and so giving and kind by the toys he gives us, the food he puts on our table, the roof over our heads, and he shows his love for us and compassion and care by keeping us safe, by the love that we're given from our parents. But what kind of friend do you wanna be? And what drives you to be a good friend? All these examples are nice, and it's nice to have friends, and it's nice to be loving and caring, but ultimately what drives us is the love that God shows for us, and by his example, we're able to show that love to the people around us. Okay, so let's take this egg and water, for example. It's at the bottom, if you can tell. Let's say that this person doesn't show God's love to people around them. Let's take this salt. In Matthew, Jesus tells his people to be the salt of the earth. And in the same way, if you think about how God loves you and pours his love out to you and how you could then pour it out to others, the more salt we add to our life and around those that we love, if this works. Ah! <laughs> the more we float. So if you can see here, the egg is now floating. It's no longer at the bottom. So as you continue to think about what kind of friend you want to be and how you want to be the salt of the earth, think about Jonathan and David and their friendship. But ultimately, think about how God loves on you and how you could show that same love to those around you. Have a good week.